Joining me in the studio right now is a professor of political science at the University of Ghana. He is a governance expert and he has contributed to the democracy of this country in many ways. Professor Ransford Jampo, good morning, welcome. Morning, um, thanks for having me. You know, we face an existential threat, um, irresponsible mining, mm -hmm. and we set out to fight it, coming together to form organized labor to fight it. Now, some people try to compromise some two people leading this um, group. Two people. And some of us took exception to that backward practice. And what are they doing? Trying to resort to some very useless tactics aimed at attacking us, referring to their very bogus attempt at silencing some of us, which never went. When they realized that that route was not going to work, then they said, oh, you are dancing an Onapo song. If I am dancing Onapo song, common campaign hit song. Common dance, danceable campaign hit song. You've not been able to compose. And if somebody has composed a music and somebody is dancing, that automatically makes him a, a member of the political party that used that campaign song. Does this thing make sense? When they realized that that one was also not working, then they went to very distinguished people who are supposed to have been educated, people who are supposed to be learned people. They used them to be sort of um, intimidating or talking to some of us behind the scenes. Oh, why are you doing this? Why are you not stopping this? And we ask ourselves, what are we seeking to achieve? We are fighting an existential threat. Mm -hmm. Illegal, irresponsible mining that would eliminate or would kill all of us. Then you have very distinguished people doing partisan politics and then trying to talk you out of it. And I ask myself why. When that didn't work, then they tried to get to some of our people. Um, you tag members. They try to get to some of them and manipulating them and they are trying to use them to break our front. I mean, I don't want to talk about that particular issue so much because mm -hmm. some of them are, you know, our colleagues and I don't want to contribute to the agenda of wanting to break our front. But to those deputy ministers, to those top party functionaries who were behind the, the effort to break our front, I'm telling you, I was on the phone when you were talking to them. I was on the phone. I was listening to you. You, you were, didn't know. You were listening. And to so them. I'm telling you, you see, you can do all manner of things to divide and to break the front of some labor unions, but not you tag. We are still on strike. You can go to hell. We are still on strike. But I think this government would go down in history as the most undemocratic government in the history of Ghana's Fourth Republic because mm -hmm. they are silencing, they are weakening the legislature. They are weakening the judiciary. They have silenced civil society. They have silenced the voices of eminent people. And they are silencing or dividing even the front of labor. Dear Ghanaian workers, I'm telling you, in the negotiation of base pay, rethink the caliber of people you send to go negotiate for your interest. Because some of the people, if you allow them to continue to lead you, they would remain rich and you remain poor. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, <laughs> Professor Ransford Jampo, for this. Professor, your initial comments rather <laughs> uh, gives us an idea of in, uh, this conversation of the Galamse. We will have it. Well, thank you. It doesn't make sense. And, to me. And, and, and what is this? Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, haven't also, you had governments it, before? It, 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 We've had Professor, Jerry Rollins, mm, even Rollins who himself claimed that he was not a fan of multi-party mm. democracy. Jerry Rollins, he openly said he didn't believe in multi-party democracy, Indeed. but he knew how to tolerate the existence of the dissenting views. Akufuado, what is wrong? I mean, we, 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 we believed in you. I drove from here to my hometown to go and vote for you. 
You can't tolerate dissent and you resort to breaking the front of labor unions just for what? So under you, nobody should talk. What sort of government is this? Professor Jampo, thank you for joining us. Martin Pebble is private legal practitioner. He is a leader of one of the individual bondholder groups and then also one that has contributed to the legal jurisprudence of this country in many, many, many ways. He's been a lecturer as well of law in this country. Lawyer Martin Pebble, good morning. Welcome. Morning, Mr. Kansi. Morning. Good to be here. Good to be here. I understand we are leading the chats, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the most uh, watched and listened uh, socio-political talk show on Saturday mornings, right? Indeed. Yeah, so keep the good work, right? Uh, but as <laughs> usual, let me start with greeting Gamanche, Kentucky, Teku Chulu II. Mm -hmm. The front, uh, this is a leader for the quest for justice against the cash stashed by Cecilia Dapa under her bed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So much money. Government is asking the authorities, how can one woman have so much money under her bed? Now it's over a year and we are still dancing around, right? With so much rigmarole. Government is asking for justice on that Cecilia Dapa cash. So much cash. So much cash. More cash than we even needed to uh, do our stadium so that we don't go begging Togo. You see, eventually mm -hmm. we were saved by the uh, last minute interventions. But it remains a shame, eh? Secondly, mm -hmm. let me greet uh, Osi Adieyo, Dr. Ajman Bedou II, Dr. Mahini. Yes, Dr. Mahini, more fire, more fire. We need more chiefs. Yes, and God, so he is Nana Kwesi Bosompra, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, he's the one who said, look, he calls upon the EC to do the forensic audit, right? Yes. And that, that was, I mean, quite exhilarating, quite exciting to see a chief. Mm -hmm. Step up because not many people were talking, and Nana Kwesibu Sumpra did that. I gave my heart out to him. And finally, Yas Antwa Sofia Kufu. Good morning. Morning to More you. More fire. Thank you, uh, Martin Pebo, mm -hmm. for joining us. Palgrave Boache Dankwa, doctor, is the government spokesperson on governance and security. And this matter of the two issues we're talking about this morning borders on governance and security. He's joining us in the studio. Dr. Palgrave Bwachidankwa, good morning. Good morning, Alfred. And um, good so morning. Can I say, you didn't add a part of the family and friends government. Ah, that's the <laughs> president's relation. Family and friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They are your relations, are they not? I, I, ah. I, do you see? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Dr. Paul Gribo, what you done? Alfred, Alfred that, good morning. Well, good morning. Well, yes. well, well, I am, well, I am, well, I am well, surprised well, at the well, level well, of cabal well, that is well, coming well, from well, Prof. No, 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 no. Coming from... I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at the cabal that is coming from. Of course, I can never deny that I come from the for Penis to. I can never deny that. But Alfred, let me greet the good people of this country. Right. Join the overwhelming parents who are mourning the lives of Mami Jumo Boateng and Justin Abenu, the two young ladies that were involved in the accident at East Legon last week. I think one yesterday. of them is being buried today? Yes, one of them is being buried today because that was the only one that they were able to get some um, remains Wait. of. Um, the other just um, went together with the fire. But just to join the community, yesterday we had a vigil at the accident scene. Very, very traumatic event and uh, very, very sad. And so I send my deepest condolences again oh. to the family of the diseased to the entire East Legon community, to the entire school community, Cornerstone International School, and really to um, state that um, the police should hasten the investigations so that uh, we can be able to put this matter to rest. But it's very, very troubling. So um, our deepest condolences yeah. to all of them. And I, I hope that we have one of the best shows this morning that borders on the democracy of this country. No, we are here. Law, the, we have a very law, the, we, some uh, of us we came here very country, fired today. Uh, we don't we're we lucky we, last we, week I was we, not we, here. We, we don't <laughs> no no no. Okay. Yes. Dr. Pagrobachit Dankwa, thank you. 
Yeah, also, I also, also no, no, yes, no, yes, our yes, 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 uh, the group CEO and management of Media General also tag along in that in that same manner. Condolences to the families of this of these two. Um, the Honourable Mahama Ayariga is the member of parliament for the Boko Central constituency. Is also a private legal practitioner. Joining us in the studio this morning, the Honourable Mahama Ayariga. Good morning. Welcome to Key Point. Good morning. And you, you won't we, say anything. We, That's no, all. No. You only respond. I mean, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> because he has, he, he has a lot to talk all about. Right. So I, I thought we will be given the opportunity to say things. Okay. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hijack. <laughs> indeed. Let me also uh, acknowledge the presence on, on Zoom. The Honorable Vincent Ekoasefwa is the Member of Parliament for the Old Tafo constituency. Uh, he's also a, a private legal practitioner. Vincent Ekoasefwa, good morning. Welcome to Key Point. Good morning, Alfred. How are you? I'm well, thank you for asking. Um, let's first start off with exactly what was the basis of the ruling and the decision by the five member panel of the Supreme Court on this ex parte motion yesterday. <laughs> 